Hi friends, welcome back. Miss Walker here and Monkey the Mathematician. He's waving really big waves today. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. We are doing today lesson, uh, module one, lesson five. It's called add doubles. So let's go ahead and start with our I can statement. So repeat after me, or I'll say it and then you guys can say it. I can identify, represent, and solve doubles facts. Can you say it? I can identify, represent, and solve doubles facts. Awesome. You guys know what a doubles fact is? Maybe that would be helpful for us to review that first. Oh, what's that monkey? You wanted to explain? Monkey wanted to show you guys, but he was just showing me. He was showing me this. Three plus three would be a doubles fact. Oh, I dropped it. Thanks, monkey. That's an example because the add-ins are the same. So this is a doubles fact, three plus three. Great example. So boys and girls, let's go ahead and turn to our page 26. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So it says Lana pours six cups of juice. Then she pours six more cups. How many cups of juice does she pour? So remember our cup strategy? where we circle, everyone say circle, good. Everyone say underline the question, good job. And everyone say box key words, good job. So we're gonna start by circling the numbers. What are the numbers? Yes, yeah, six and six, those are the numbers. And underline the question, how many cups of juice does she pour? And box key words. Let's see here. For six cups of juice, then she pours six more cups. More is so important because it's telling us she's pouring more. How many cups of juice does she pour? So cups of juice is important because that's what we're trying to figure out. How many all together? So she pours six cups of juice and then she pours six more cups. All right, let's go ahead and draw to show the problem. So I'm gonna do some connecting cubes and normally these would look more connected, but just for my picture, it's gonna look like close, but not touching. Can you guys count with me? One, good. Two, awesome. Three, four, five, and six. Great job. So Lana pours six cups of juice and then she pours how many more? Six, that's right. So let's do another six. Can you count with me? One, awesome. Two, three, four, five, and six. Great job. So let's look at part B. It says, how can you write a double stack to solve the problem? So how many did we have over here? Six, that's right. And how many did we have over here? Six, that's right. So how can we do it? We can write six plus how many? Six, that's right, that's a doubles fact, equals, hmm, what does it equal? Well, friends, we know that we have six right here. So to figure out how many all together, we can count on from six. That will save us time instead of having to count on from one. So let me change my color and let's count on. So let's put six in our head and then count on what comes after, ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Boys and girls, what is six plus six? 12, that's right. 
So how many does Lana pour? She pours 12 cups of juice. Turn and talk. What do you notice about the numbers you are adding? Did you guys hear that? That was Monkey the Mathematician. What did you notice? Okay. He, he said that he noticed that all the numbers are the same. That's what he told me. He said that the numbers are the same. So six plus six, those are the same number. High five. Great observation. All right. So friends, we are going to move to the next page. We're going to move to page. Did I move too many pages? Nope. This is the page. We're going to move to page 27. Step it out. It says Meg has eight balloons. Will has eight balloons. How many balloons do they have? I'm going to circle number eight. And I'm going to circle the other number eight. I'm going to underline the question, how many balloons do they have? Also, it's very important. We're trying to figure out how many balloons they have. And it's they because it's about both of them. So it's giving me a clue that I have to add them together. And it says use cubes to show the devil's fact. Draw to show your work. Okay, here we go. Can you guys count with me while I draw? I'm going to do these kind for a change. So we're going to do eight. Can you count to me? Count with me to the number eight. One, two, good job. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm running out of room. I'm going to put this one right under here. Eight. Great. And now that's how many Meg has. How many does Will have? Eight. That's right. It's a double stack because they both have the same eight and eight. So can you count with me, friends, to eight again? Here we go. One. Oops. Too big. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Running out of room. And eight. Awesome. Now it says write an equation to solve, I'm sorry, to show the doubles fact. We can do that. So how many did Meg have? Eight. That's right. And how many does Will have? Eight. That's right. And now, friends, we have to figure out the sum. Well, I have a question. Do I have to start counting at number one? I don't. You're right. I know that there are eight here and I'm gonna save myself some time and I'm gonna count on from eight. So everyone tap your head and say eight. Good job, eight. What comes after eight? Here we go. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Eight plus eight equals 16. That's right. They have 16 balloons. Boys and girls, you did such a great job today with your doubles facts. Keep up the great work. Um, I meant to say a great job adding doubles today. Keep up the great work and we'll see you next time. Oh, I forgot. Monkey the Mathematician wanted to do something for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Oh, he wants to do a doubles fact flips. Wait, flips that show a doubles fact? Which one? Oh, he wants to do two plus two. Okay, monkey, go for it. Okay, there's two. Can you guys count with me? One, two, plus, let's add it on. One, two. Friends, what is two plus two? How many flips did monkey just do? If you said four, that's correct. Awesome job, friends. We will see you next time.